Deanne, uh, thank you so much for coming on. You have an extraordinary story to tell about complaints that Travis made to you about Jody Arias when they had initially started dating. Kind of a foreshadowing of uh, what prosecution uh, said is a stalking pattern. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, thank you for having me on, Jane. Um, a good friend of Travis, um, met him in 2005. Um, but we had a business retreat in August of 2007 um, at Daniel Summit here in Utah. And um, I was, we always teased each other. I teased him about he need, it's time to find a girlfriend and get a wife. And, and he would tease me and um, he just had this innocent flirtatiousness about him. But um, so at the retreat, Jody was with him and, and when I saw him, I said, oh, you know, you've got a girlfriend, that's great, how's everything going? And he said, well, everything's going pretty well, except that she has to know where I am 24-7. He said, I just feel, I feel sort of suffocated. And um, so that was a telltale sign that the relationship probably wasn't going to last very long. And apparently, as you guys drove away to go somewhere, she comes running after you, like frantically, like, where are you going? Where are you going? Yes, yes. Well, my husband um, asked Travis, um, he said, well, do you want to get a break from her? And do you want to come to our house? We live in Park City, which is just like 40 minutes away. At least get a little bit of a break. And he said, yeah, yeah, he was grateful for that. And he came with us to our house just for a little bit of time, but it gave him a break. But when we got in the car to, to leave for our home, um, she was in the distance a little bit and she saw him get in our car and saw us start to drive away. And she started running after the car, kind of like a puppy dog running after a car. So we just kind of didn't look back and kept going, but um, which probably wasn't wow. really nice. now, okay.